he was always kind. Uh, you know, I think he was a good man. Um, I don't know that he was good at being a man, you know, especially in his later years with the way that he's sort of like, you know, fizzled out like that. But, um, he, you know, he was, he was certainly an enjoyable character and, um, somebody that sort of did his own thing and, and marched the beat of his own drum. He never tried to, as far as I know, really have conversations with or integrate with anybody in the Mano Swamp. There were people that worked in the Mano Swamp that really hated him though, for some reason. I don't know why. I think it was more because of envy or jealousy. Cause they were like, oh, he's, you know, he's a grifter and he, you know, he doesn't belong there. And it's like, I've always said, you know, wisdom comes from experience and you want to listen to older guys when it comes to conversations and topics and, you know, the notions of the challenges that young men deal with in the world today. And I saw a lot of young inexperienced posers in the Mano Swamp, you know, pretending or holding out that they were um, experienced or knowledgeable. And because he got such good reach with his, his videos and the way that they were edited and distilled, you know, to the point, I think that um, there might've been a little bit of envy and jealousy there, but he was, he was really, really, Fascinating dude to have conversations with. So rest in peace, uh, Gonzalo Lero. He was uh, he was a fascinating man. Um, I strongly encourage you to all go back to his archives and watch some like like his older videos in you know the CRP. And I hope somebody out there, if you have access to all of his videos and even his Patreons and you know stuff like that, um, you know, share it. You know, let other people see it because I think there's some. Uh, decent conversations and questions to be asked. Uh, he was he was a curious character, so that's how I would sum him up. Anyway, um, I think I'll wrap it up on that note. Um, you guys, you know, chop it up in the the chat and leave some comments, and you know, you, you let me know what you think. Again, if you want to see those, oh, there's a few super chats here. Let me get those in a second. If you want to see the public conversations that I had with him, um, just search this YouTube channel with either Coach Red Pill and or Gonzalo Lira. I think there's. There's definitely one, there might be two or three conversations that I've had with him over the years, but go check him out. Um, he, was, he was fun to talk to. Let me check these uh, super chats here. Uh, it was inevitable that he was going to get killed there. He was spreading too much truth on the war. Yeah, uh, rip CRP. And Chuck says, I know a bunch of people in the sphere didn't like him, but when I discovered the Red Pill five, six years ago, he was one of the guys who got me to open my eyes, spoke himself to death, but the man was, uh, but was a man of his words. Um, yeah, he spoke himself to death. Yeah, there's, yeah, there's no doubt about that. He, uh, he did. So, there's a legacy of his um, Coach Red Pill videos, I think, which are, which are probably the best place to um, sort of remember and um, reminisce of some of the conversations he had. Because I think, like a lot of the stuff on YouTube, a lot of it is just filler, and his stuff was like nine tenths. I don't think. It, I don't think anybody, me inclusive, does 10, 10 tenths, but I think he was like a, you know, he was right up there. And one of the few channels that I would um, watch on a regular basis, just because they were useful, consistent, short, distilled, they were just good and entertaining, um, you know, the way that they were edited. So check them out. I really hope you guys enjoyed that clip. If you want to watch the full length podcast, you can find that over here, that clips from. If you're newer to the channel, make sure you hit subscribe over here and pin down below in the top comment. You'll find a bunch of useful links to my website, my supplement line books, and a bunch of other stuff. Have an amazing day. Peace out.